welcome back guys to another Anime Dimensions video. If you watched my previous one where I introduced Bakugo, it's time to do a video on Sasuke. At this point, I believe the JJK Jujutsu Kaisen Anime Dimensions update has been out for roughly 9 minutes. No, it's been longer than that, but um, they're about to hit 90k players. Anyways, the update does consist of two characters, specifically Bakugo, Bakubro, and Sasuke. Even though Sasuke, which is a super popular character, is in 1600 gems, I do appreciate the fact that they made it a little cheaper for um, just people who don't play this much. They want a popular character, and this works out very well for them. But for me, I'm going to test this character out and tell you guys how I feel about him. I can tell you if it's bad and tell you if it's good. I'll try to do some solo matches with him and see how good he is. I already bought it. Chidori, Fireball, Amaterasu, and Kiren. Sasuke. By the way, don't mind my level 31 cards right here. I feel like it's better to use them even though the substats aren't perfect. It just takes more grind to get the perfect ones then. But for now, I'm prioritizing base attack numbers and base health, which puts me at 1400 HP. And I think it can go much higher than that. Maybe 1600? Alright, let's see. Dude, I love the Sasuke motto. Does he not have shower guns on? Huh! Speculation. Maybe they'll come out with future Sasuke's where he has Sharingan or maybe a 6 pass Renegon. But the models they're using has yin and yang, so I'm a little confused. Uh, anyways, going into character testing. Oh my god, Kelvin, where are you? I'm a big fan. I enjoy your company too. <clears throat> Let's see, Chidori. Oh, so it's kind of like the Rasengan of uh, skill. Seven second cooldown. It's a single target skill. That's bad. Oh, it's not single target. Never mind. Take that back. But it doesn't give you extra speed, does it? I think it does. All right, let me see. It does. Maybe like 10% at most. 15%. Second skill, fireball. That is not a bad cooldown. The damage is a little lacking, but it is a 450 gem unit. So I don't know what we're expecting from this. And then next skill, Amaterasu. Oh, so it's like curtains from Gojo where it attacks around you. I just want to know how long that burning effect is for. Because that would be a game changer. I don't think it's that bad. I don't know why people are on Discord saying Sasuke is like terrible. I mean, you can't really compare him to a 1600 unit. I mean, you can't really compare Sasuke to a 1600 unit. But for 450, I think it's okay. And then next attack, last skill, Kirin. Oh, whoa. the cooldown's not even that bad. The only attack that I'm not super excited about is the Chidori right now, because I'm not really sure how it works out. Because it is an attack that demands that you go up front and like go melee range, and not everybody's comfortable with that. All right, I'm going to try Kirin again and see how long the cast time is. One, two, three. Ah, okay, I see. So it's kind of like Bakugo. The iframe's not super long, but the damage continues way after the iframe. Whereas in compared to Rimaru, the entire time you're attacking and doing damage, you're actually in iframe. So I guess I can kind of see why people immediately feel that Sasuke and maybe even Bakugo doesn't measure up when it comes to comparing to Rimaru. But we gotta go a little bit more in depth than that and actually bring it into a dungeon run. For people who's trying to get Sasuke, I suggest not. He's not that good. Uh oh. Well, he might be right. I don't know yet. This is my first dungeon run with Sasuke. So it's time to figure out if that's really the case. All right, let's see. We're going to try to gather Chidori. Yeah, I don't like that Chidori putting me in place. Fireball. Wait, I can't use Fireball when I'm in Chidori? Well, I mean, it technically makes sense. And I just missed that Fireball. Amaterasu. Oh, it's a little tough, man. I can see why. The damage overall just doesn't match. We have to see this from a 450 gem perspective. Kirin. Fireball. So that right there is a minus point. But I really like the Amaterasu if it just had a little bit more damage. Fireball. Alright, gather, 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 gather. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amaterasu. What I wish happened was if the units do get hit by Amaterasu, they would end up having burns for a bit. 
Yeah, that's what I would prefer. The fireball is alright if you don't miss. I'm gonna trust you. Alright, leave them in. I missed. I missed. I missed. Fireball! I kind of wish I had a standard to compare these 450 units to. Since uh, off the bat, I've been using uh, units beyond Akasa, things like Rimuru. That's kind of where I force the compare, which does end up being a bad thing. Because now I'm feeling like Sasuke is lacking, but it's not fair for me to say that because he is a 450 unit and I only use 1600 units. Okay, this boss is not that hard. People are saying, like, nerf him, but I don't think it's that bad. You just need the right cards. Like, I have the right cards right now and I'm taking so much damage, and he is not. Terrible in my opinion and of course my opinion could change when I lose and die All right, just the part where I'm holding a Chidori and I want to change my mind. I can't I can't attack unless I get rid of the Chidori Iframe Kirin Finishing dude Oh my god that triggered me so much Stupid Chidori Fireball. Yeah, none of the skills can one shot. Trust me, guys, I was trying so hard to be non biased and be good about Sasuke, but he is pretty bad. Kirin. Because by the time I leave that stupid short iframe, right, I'm already taking damage, which is trash. And he's. Peep, and people are going to be so triggered because he's such an important character. I haven't died yet though, but I'm pretty sure I, I can't do a non-death match. Just because I'm struggling so much just to stay alive. Come on guys, come on, really? I have five minutes left and I'm not even killing the first boss yet. Sasuke, why? Sasuke, why? Why you disappoint? Kirin. Kieran, dang it! <gasps> ah! I hate being stuck with that Chidori. Kieran. I can't even see the floor too, which is kind of garbage. And it's not someone else's skill in my way, it's my own skill in the way. And also guys, I heard people were asking for uh, a buff with this boss. I I'm not gonna say I agree, nor or do I want to say I disagree. It's just that this is a new concept for this boss. And I understand he's the final boss, but this is also the easy dungeon so far. So if you feel like he's not difficult enough, oh, I guess wait till um, hard mode and nightmare mode comes out and then determine that. But for now... Dude, I can't see anything. Stop! I can't even go in for like M1s. Such a small window for M1s. Yeah, and I know people have been asking me if I think this map is hard. I don't think so. Kirin, finish it off. Let's go. Yeah, we want immediate damage from that Kirin. Kirin, finish it off. Let's go. Not taking damage. It takes a while. All right. That took me seven minutes. That's rough. Wait, let's see. Bro, how you level 60 but have 942 HP? You guys need to understand so much on substats. You get increased HP on your substats. And sometimes cards don't have them. And there are certain stats that are better than just HP. Like damage. So without any outside context or anything specifically, if you were to ask me, do I prefer damage or defense? I'm always going to be a damage kind of person just because the faster you kill means the less damage you have to take. That's just kind of how it works. You guys just got to join me while I use Sasuke. <laughs> Alright, for those of you wondering and asking why I'm not trying to claim a leaderboard spot, it's just pointless. Since I make content, I gotta record videos and edit videos. Yes, I edit my own videos. I technically can't outfarm most of these people. Yeah, stop freaking out. That leaderboard spot, I lost it. And there's all there is to it. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go. I'm hoping I can still get max damage somehow. I mean, highest damage in the match with a Sasuke. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Sasuke is pretty doo doo. And obviously, you didn't need to watch this entire video to find out. Off the bat, there was definitely some questions I already had. On, on what the hell is going on with Sasuke. Yeah, why am I lacking in damage? I was really hoping I like, can prove people wrong. By going more in depth and finding it out. And, and folks, I'm not pulling my punches here. I am literally trying to get highest damage in the match right now. 
I don't want to forget this is hardcore too. We need a Sakura! Bring Sakura! I'm gonna die! I can't see! I can't even see, this is worse. I died. No! I can't see your explosions! Yeah, that's a rip. Okay, so first off, I'm not gonna make any excuses there. I definitely played like trash, and I deserve to lose there. Uh, but I, I at the same time want to say Sasuke is not that great. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, man. I don't know what else I can say to emphasize where Sasuke needs a buff. First, and first off, I wouldn't compare him to any of the 1600 gem units. They're all better than he is. And as far as I can tell, it seems like people think that Itadori and Akasa is much better than Sasuke and Asta too. That's rough because all these units cost less than Sasuke. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I'm going to try to grind a little bit more and um, maybe just get a few more levels depending on how the EXP rate is since it, it should be slightly better than the previous dungeons where I grinded like 40 levels beyond like Nightmare Demon Dimension. And now I'm hoping the EXP rate in the new map is much better. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications for more Anime Dimensions content. Um, and of course, use Star Code Kelvin when buying Red Box. God, we're looking like a boss right now. It's a shame you're trash. Alright, that's it. You need Manga Kill! I give you my eyes. Dude, two regular non-Sharingans. Nothing happens. Alright, bye.